One of the things that made us really want to tackle this story is that the core relationship on stage is one you just don't see very often. To see this dynamic between a grandmother and her grandson, um, spending several weeks together, getting to know each other as adults. They're both scared and they're both lonely and really unexpectedly we see how they help each other in what's really actually a very funny and super recognizable play. And Leo sort of arrives in New York um, sort of damaged and, and broken and hurting um, and looks to his grandmother for solace um, and comfort and uh, just a place to be. We have this wonderful coming together of a very young grandson with a very old grandmother and they don't know each other very well and they collide and they also bond and the play is the working out of that relationship. This is a woman who um, was very active in, in political and social movements throughout her whole life, extremely engaged in all different kinds of social activism. Yes, there is a 70 year age gap between 21 year old Leo and 91 year old Vera, but there's so much that they have in common and they kind of have uh, shared ideas but they just kind of approach it from a different generational standpoint. It's interesting politics that this is a woman who has come up through some very fascinating moments in American history. Amy's an amazing playwright and really captures um, the human condition in a really unique but also honest and truthful way. I am so amazed at the caliber of the writing and the character development in this play. These characters are so specific. This isn't generic 21 year old and generic 91 year old, but they're very recognizable types, I think, particularly for us here in Madison. <laughs> the language is very different from character to character. We've got two young friends of Leo's and those characters, each of those is written very particularly as well. So that's a, that's a gifted writer. The tone of the play addresses serious matters in a laid-back and casual, humoristic way, which makes it much more approachable and much more relatable, which I think is really smart, but also true to life. It's the kind of work we've demonstrated we really just do best here at Forward. It's, it's beautiful writing, they're complex characters, um, there's nothing sort of trite or simplistic about it, but it really is looking at a story about the world we live in. It's a family story and I think our audiences will, will more than enjoy. I think they'll take a lot of sustenance from it. I know we are.